Hello, my name is Patrick and this is Codexpec channel. In today's video, I want to talk about testing. As an experienced developer, I cannot stress enough how crucial testing is in the development process. It helps ensure the quality and reliability of our software and also it saves us from countless headaches. I want to start with introducing a concept that's widely recognized in the testing community, the testing pyramid. The testing pyramid was introduced by Mike Cohn in his book Succeeding with Agile. It provides us with a powerful framework for organizing our tests effectively. The bottom of the pyramid consists of unit tests. Unit tests are focused, lightweight tests that examine individual units of our code in isolation. They are usually written by developers and are fantastic at catching bugs early on. Unit tests help us ensure that each individual piece of code functions as intended and also they provide a safety net for refactoring or making changes to our code base. Moving up the pyramid, we have integration tests. Integration tests come into play when we want to verify that multiple units of code work together correctly. These tests validate the interactions and integration points between different components, modules or services. They help us catch issues that might arise due to the collaboration of various parts of our software. And at the top of the pyramid, we have end-to-end -end tests. They are designed to validate the behavior and functionality of the system as a whole, ensuring that it works as intended from the user's perspective. To summarize, unit tests are positioned at the base of the pyramid. They are isolated and therefore execute quickly. As we move up the pyramid, integration tests and end-to-end -end tests involve interactions between different components, modules or services, resulting in slower execution times and higher maintenance requirements. That's why emphasizing the importance of having a substantial number of unit tests is crucial. Unit tests provide quick feedback as they don't require setting up additional services and can be written by the same person responsible for the code, resulting in a more efficient testing process. Let's now switch to PHPStorm so that I can show you how to configure PHPStorm for running unit tests. And in the next videos, we will tackle how to write unit tests, how to set up and also how to write integration tests. To make it work, I have prepared a sample module uh, which is called CodeExpect unit test and I have created a directory test and also a directory called unit because we want to separate unit or integration from other tests. That's why there is a directory unit and in this directory we have a product test. This, we have artificial test prepared so let's just um, go to the dev, um, dev directory next tests and here in this directory you can see a different um, type of tests that are um, that can be configured in Magento. Right now we focus on unit tests so let's go to the directory called unit and in here there is a php unit xml this um, this is a configuration file for php unit basically. We can copy that and just remove the dist um, suffix. Let's create it and here you can see the PHP unit configuration. So what you want to cover, uh, what are the test suits, some um, PHP settings, listeners and extensions. So this can all be configured, but for what we, what we need, we need to configure a test suit. So let's focus on this. In this tag, we need to um, define what directories should be included in our test suit. So uh, we want to only test um, our, te our module. So these um, tests are located in app code. So the first line directory app code star star test unit is correct. But um, those two are not um, necessary. We don't want them. Also, we can remove other test suits. We only want to test our module. Um, it, 
extensions, you can other extensions, it can help to see um, reports in HTML. We can remove it, we don't need that. And also coverage. So with the PHP unit and PHP storm, we can use the uh, run uh, option with coverage, uh, which helps to then uh, show what is the percentage um, of code covered by tests. Uh, for our purposes, let's remove it. Uh, we don't want to focus on that. Let's just leave a sample, simple uh, configuration file like it is. So test suits that uh, is uh, located in the app code test unit directory. Let's save it and go to the run, edit configurations, click on the plus sign, uh, filter the PHP unit, um, the name, we can just name it unit tests and click on the define in the, in the configuration file. In here there is an error. Um, default configuration file is specified in the PHP unit configuration. Press fix to edit the configuration. Let's click on the fix button. Um, also, let's just be sure that we have PHP unit libraries, library selected here. Um, and what we need to change it is the default configuration file. Let's um, check on this configuration. Uh, click on the directory and we need to select the PHP unit XML that we just created. Uh, so this is located in the dev, uh, dev um, tests unit and PHP unit XML file. That is loaded. We can click on OK. The error is no longer here. Uh, we also need to select uh, interpreter, which will be this one. Um, if you want to test, um, if you want to debug the, um, the test, you need to switch the interpreter to the uh, version with the xdebug, but we don't want to make our tests slower because of the xdebug, we will just leave the option without xdebug. Um, and with that, we can click on OK. We can get back to our product test. Um, so if we click on this um, sign, uh, PHP store will also run your test, but it will only run this product test. With, if we want to run the PHP unit XML test suite configuration, we can go to the run and run unit tests. Let's wait a couple of seconds. And we can see that PHP store has just run the um, test case, which is named as Magento unit test. And also we can see that our test is here and is also as green. So it means that it worked if we switch this value to false. Again, couple of seconds and of course the test is failed. And that will be all for today. If you want to learn more about the testing parameter uh, concept, there is a great article in the Semaphore CI about the testing parameter. So if you are interested in this topic, you, you want to learn more about it, I would recommend to go there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.